Welcome to Murray Montgomery's Lone Star Diary. Murray is a published author and syndicated newspaper columnist. He writes non-fiction stories about the Old West, most of them about cowboys and pioneers to the Lone Star State. Other true stories with an Old West flavor from all parts of America will also be included from time to time. Murray has been writing for some 20 years for the online magazine, Texas Escapes. So sit back and relax, and enjoy these true stories of Old Texas. Now, here's Murray. Hey everybody, this is Murray back with you. I guess that you probably figured out from that ghostly music that was playing is that we are uh, we're going to do something a little different with this episode because we're going to we're going to talk about a, a legend, an old ghost story legend, and it's going to be about Woman Hollering Creek or the legend of La Llorona. And it's a sad legend. You know, friends, one thing is for sure. There's no shortage of material when it comes to writing about ghost stories. You will find all you need and probably more than you want. And many of these legends were brought about by gloomy events, while others just seem to be manifesting themselves over the years of having them told and retold. In Texas, many ghost stories are the results of things brought here by generations of Hispanic people, and many of these legends are steeped in sorrow. And it's uh, indeed, this one is very, very sad. So we'll go head on with it and uh, According to the Handbook of Texas, the sad story of a rejected woman is one of the most famous ghost stories of all time. The legend of La Llorona takes top billing when it comes to ghostly tales. La Llorona is a Spanish term that translates to the weeping woman in English, and it refers to a legendary figure in Latin American folklore particularly in Mexico. The narrative of La Llorona includes the reason for her sorrow. Supposedly she is a ghost, she is the ghost of a woman who was abandoned by her husband. And in a fit of rage and despair, she drowned her children. She drowned her own children. She was consumed by guilt and remorse, and she roams the streets now and the waterways, crying and searching for her lost children. During my research, I found that there are many versions and many different accounts of this story. One source says that some of these versions go into detail about what, who and what actually attacked or dies. In different adaptations, the woman is Spanish, Native American, or a member of a local European or American settler community. It has been written that this tale is always associated with a creek or a river. Also, it is somewhat vague as to how it all started in the first place. Depending on the version, she may not have murdered her children after all. One account claims that it's her spirit might be searching for others to kill. Who knows? What I found particularly interesting is just how old this ghost story is. One source reveals that the legend dates back to the mid-1500s, if not significantly well, a European contract or before European contact in central Mexico. And so much has been written about this legend that it is virtually impossible to nail it down to one depiction of how it originated. 
It seems that the only thing consistent in every account is that La Llorona is weeping. Other than that, I guess it's really up to the readers to decide which version they want to believe. This sad tale is found to be extremely popular across the internet. Even the Library of Congress has given large amounts of coverage to it. And the following quote is from one of their blog posts. And I quote, La Llorona is often closely associated with children. In some stories, she is said to wail for her own loss or dead children. In many of these stories, she killed her own children when she was alive and is doomed for her actions to be a wandering ghost. The Library of Congress also cites information from the book The Weeping Woman Encounters with La Llorona by Edward Garcia Crawl and Judith Petty. Looking through such stories, you'll, you'll find many variations. Sometimes La Llorona sees you from afar and pursues you, terrifying you as you flee toward your home. Or she may appear riding a horse. Other times, she materializes in your car, warning you against bad behavior before disappearing. In some stories, an encounter with her is fatal. The Handbook of Texas writes that the tale of La Llorona serves as a cautionary tale, warning children to obey their parents and avoid wandering alone at night. You know, if my parents had told me that story when I was a little kid, I probably never would have gone out after dark. But finally, going through Texas from, say, Houston to San Antonio, and you would be traveling on Interstate 10, or you would be going up another highway called 90A, and it seems that you cross a little creek and there's a sign there that says, Woman Hollering Creek. Well, Woman Hollering Creek came about because of this legend of La Llorona. So there you have it, friends. I, I don't know if, uh, if you have much interest in ghost stories and I realize that this doesn't really fit the narrative of the old cowboys and history, but it is history and it is old, so maybe you'll enjoy it anyway. And I want to thank all our, our listeners up in, in Canada and over in India and all over the place. We have them world, worldwide and we certainly appreciate it. But anyway, that's going to be all for this one. I want to keep it short. And we will be talking to you later. And we will see you on down the road. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>